Hello everyone, my name is Doogie Forever, and today we're playing the last show of Mr. Chartish. Uh, it's a demo, I believe, and it looked kind of neat, so I thought we'd give it a try. Uh, it showed up on the Steam store today, September 3rd. It's Ella. Ella? Oh, Ella! Hello! Honey! Ella is calling! What do you mean, which Ella? Our Ella! Oh, stop it, you! <laughs> how are you doing? How, how, how's the weather out there in the States? Oh, you know how it is. Win some, lose some, never a dull day. But I'm not calling from the States, I'm here in England. Oh, one could never keep up with you. I'm staying in that yellow hotel. What was his name? Wait, the one here? In Linfield? Yes! I'm back. Actually, I have a small favour to ask. Do you still have a car? Oh, yes, yes, yes. The same old one. Had it for 20 years now. It's the only thing that still works. Is there no Could you give time? me a ride like, somewhere? The to the cemetery? I can show you which grave it is. No. I wanted, um, I have to check out the theatre. Ah, right, of course. I can be there in an hour. Would that be all right? Sure, Henry. You are wonderful. It sure brings back I've memories, heard, though, doesn't it? Interesting. So much has happened here. Sometimes too much. Are you sure you don't want me to come with you? Thank you, but I'd like to be alone for a moment. So, we meet again, Mr. Chardish. It's hard to believe that this is the end. <coughs> Isn't it? Time flies this fast only in the studio, on the stage, and with Sinatra. It does indeed. Let me explain to the listeners who have missed the previous auditions that we've been meeting to talk about the major plays Mr. Chardish directed over the last 30 years. From the last one to the very first one, as well as about art in general and the bohemian lifestyle. As long as I uh, uh, manage to stay on track. <laughs> Today our time travel takes us back to a theater in the village named Lindfield. The first stage you are to command by yourself. Before we start talking about art, let me ask, how are you feeling? Well, I guess I should have seen that one coming, <laughs> given the circumstances. I feel undefeated and the prognosis is rather optimistic as well. Oh, surely a lot of people sighed with relief with me just now. I appreciate that. <laughs> Sadly, people who expect to see me on stage will be disappointed. The doctors deny me any excitement, and for once in my life, I am inclined to listen to people who know better than me. It must be difficult. Everyone has to exit stage eventually. I was unable to open the door. I'm not 100% sure why, but I'm sure if we just keep following Okay. 
That one will let me open it. So before we do that, I just wanted to see if I could jump over and break the game. Looks like I can have it. There's a new one. Speaking as a third party to, to this and a person my, some might call ancient, I cannot make the decision for you. I may possess all the facts, but it's not the facts that are most important here. Two people will have as different impressions of an event as the faces they see in the mirror. As such, whether you leave or stay, you have to decide on your own, and I see no correct answer. Do not forget that life is quite long, longer than it seems to the young people, and as long as it lasts, there's time to change our mind, fix all the mistakes, Take a step on the scene yet again. Best regards, Professor Edmund White Moon. Okay. Okay. Oil the pulleys, fix the screenplay, scene two. Order new chairs, rush the printers, arrange tailoring, fix the stairs, the railing is I apologize for, dear Henry, I apologize for not coming in person. I'm sending two sets of keys to Lindfield, the smallest one to the mailbox. Feel free to sell the contents of the boxes. I have no use for them. You can send them back. If you find someone to rent the place to go ahead, I feel too weak to take care of that. I'm entrusting it to you. Once again, let me apologize for not being there in person. I couldn't because, uh, I'll just go. Before Sophie left for the city, I talked to her and wrote the piece down. She said, these should be enough to do the hair without her. We'll miss you so quickly. How to make a big braid, which I'm not going to read because I don't care. Easy chin for quick wardrobe changes. Gibson girl hair for the witch. Let's see.
Have I planned it? Not at all. The films were a complete novelty to me. But I'm glad that I did. Despite the sacrifices and changes this decision brought about.
do not wait. 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 Do not turn away. Turn away. Go. Turn away. Go! Do not turn Do away. Not turn away.
into his head that he would sleep in the theatre like the old days, but I set him straight. But he still drove there every day, insisted he had to finish something. Heavy. 
Robert, the package I got from you surprised me to no end in a pleasant way, of course. My health is excellent. Thank you for asking. And how do you fare? Sadly, this December is not treating us well. The weather is just dreary, and they're having them rains like that for years. The scarf is delightful, and I thank you for it. I took the liberty of sending a little trinket your way in return. I hope it serves you well. I'm glad to not see you're not sore about us leaving. I'm glad to not see you're not sore about us leaving. I think they accidentally put an extra knot in there. Nowadays, Linfield is so serious it would be scary to touch anything, let alone stand on the stage. Regardless of that, please pop in for a cup of tea if you're ever in the area. Mr. Chardish, I hope that I find you in good health and that the muses still favor you. I've been putting off writing this letter, so some of this might not be relevant anymore. I admit, I hope for it. I remember all too well how the darkness weighs down on you when you let it into your life. When I lost my family for the longest time, I thought the world irreversibly ended. To be honest, I do not remember much from back then. I had to work, cook, live, talk to other people shortly, but I can't recall any specific day, event, or what I did, only the choking feeling of being lost and the feeling that I lost something important. I hope you managed to find what you lost. I'm moving in a few days far, far away, so I won't be able to see your next play. I remain hopeful that I will get to visit your theater again, so instead of goodbye, I'd rather write until next time. So I haven't looked at the mask yet, and it won't let me open any doors until I do. Alright. Mm. is the last show of Mr. Chardish Act 1. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, tell that like button and we'll smash and don't forget to subscribe. You stay you. I'll stay you. Drew me forever. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. Later.